Hello there, welcome to the Perfume Experience. My name is Rodney. We are back again today with another video. So I hope you all are doing well. So before we actually go ahead further, if you like the content that you kind of get every day, please hit the like button, subscribe and share. And I think that really motivates. It probably adds also to the channel, reaching up to more people. And that's what we kind of want. We want to reach more people and get good fragrance related content almost every day. Right. So on that note, so today we are going to review this beautiful fragrance from the house of Ard Al Zafran called as Al Dirgam. Now, this is a very, very popular fragrance in the last year, towards the end of last year. Many people have reviewed it and this is an excellent summer fragrance. So on this particular video today, we are going to find out about how it's scent profile, what's its projection and should you get it for this particular summer. All about it, more on this particular video, you're watching the perfume experience. My name is Rodney, let's get started right after this intro. So welcome back. I got this particular fragrance. This is from the house of Ardal Zafran. This is called as Al Dirgam. This is very, very beautiful. It's a gold colored bottle and there is a little bit of artwork that you kind of see here. And this is the cap and there is at the bottom, it's got some sticker. Okay, so I could not get the entire presentation. I got this from Danish Perfumes. This is a partial. This is a high partial. This is about 95 ml of this particular fragrance. And uh, I was looking to uh, get fragrances that are actually very good for summer this year. And uh, when we're looking at marine fragrances, citrusy fragrances, I also wanted fragrances that's got a little bit of floral hint. Okay, so on that note, that's what this particular fragrance is going to represent to us, which is mostly a good floral hint, right? So if you kind of look at the sprayer and uh, if you do a couple of sprays it sprays very very nicely and i am in like or you know i would kind of say that i like the fragrance very very much now this is a fragrance that will remind you of you know a nice white floral hints along with some citrusy hints and along with some vanilla and tonka beans and so forth but if i were to break down the notes that you kind of you know have on this particular fragrance you will see that it's got you know blood mandarin or you know it's got some uh, white flowers like lily of the valley it's got tuberose it's got honey these elements followed by vanilla tonka beans musk and um, yeah i think that's about it so which is basically a woody type of a note now when you put this on of course you kind of forget a very nice element of citrusy sweetness followed by a nice hint of floral elements that you can kind of you know sense in the air so there is tuberose there is you know a lily of the valley and there is rose as well but you also kind of you know smell a uh, you know jasmine like vibe as well and then of course there's a nice uh, amount of woody elements especially if you think about musk if you think about uh, sedar that kind of note profile is something that you will get very much but on the whole when you it's blended you get a very good fresh kind of a fragrance that's got a very nice nice vibe of very juicy citrusy elements followed by a nice floral element which is blended really really well and you don't really you know kind of you know sniff citrus aspects of it but at the same time you don't really as you know sniff the white element or white floral elements to, of it at all but you in the mix you kind of feel it's a very nice sweet fragrance that has got a bit of freshness and it's also got freshness from that floral vibes as well so that is something that you get right at the top now this in my opinion is a very linear fragrance so the way it kind of starts and that's the way it kind of you know starts going down throughout the end of its journey as well the elements which are there at the bottom which is your musk and your uh, uh, woody vibes those elements along with vanilla is very very nicely done the tonka beans brings up a bit of that you know vanilla coffee kind of a hint as well but i would say that is lightly in the air but there is a note of tuberose mentioned in this particular fragrance and i think that is something that you can smell pretty evidently you can kind of get that note very nicely in the air now if you are a sucker for white floral frags okay especially with a little bit of um, let's say a sweet element to this particular fragrance you want an aromatic woody talcum uh, slightly talcum kind of a fragrance then this will fit all of those check boxes very very well because that citrus element is like i said you know it's not like your uh, you know afternoon swim or pacific chill that kind of citrus element you don't get that citrus vibe at all but you do know that there is that citrus vibe in the background you do feel that there's a freshness coming from that there's a zest coming there's an energy that's coming from that particular fragrance but in the heart there because of those floral notes the floral notes play a crucial role in bringing up a nice vibe of this particular fragrance okay? Okay. Now, along with this white floral uh, notes, you also have a little bit of those oriental spices like cinnamon, clove and lemongrass. Although I wouldn't really say that, you know, those notes are prominent at all. You kind of don't get them much. In summary, this is basically a floral fragrance mixed with a nice citrusy zest and then a nice vanilla, uh, you know, layered, uh, you know, musky kind of a fragrance. That's what you kind of predominantly get. 
what you really enjoy is when you put this particular fragrance you get a nice blast of that projection and that goes for about 45 minutes to one hour and at that point of time you kind of really nicely smell this particular fragrance it's pretty loud that way in fact i have been having this for about one and a half to two weeks time and when i did the first spray initially when i got the fragrance i was like wow that smells nice okay so i was really curious but you know with all the facts that are there i really didn't come around testing this so when i have worn this particular fragrance one thing i can tell you is the first few minutes okay good 30 to 40 minutes time you know round about that is something that you will absolutely enjoy because this is so loud so nice so sweet mostly this is a type of fragrance where you know your counterparts will like on you okay so it's going to get you compliments especially uh, you know from uh, uh, female uh, friends where they kind of like those floral fragrances along with that little bit of that citrusy vibe that i spoke to you about that is going to get you compliments absolutely in the first 45 minutes to one hour after that the fragrance starts to soften up you get about four and a half to five hours even on apparel so about four hours is what i would say on skin but about five hours is what i get on apparel now, if you like fragrances like Mason Francis Cordigens, Aqua Universalist Forte, or if you like fragrances like Sublime, or if you like fragrances like Calf, then this is a fantastic fragrance to get because this is really on that same ballpark type of a DNA where you have a good amount of white flowers, you have a little bit of citrus element, and then you have woody base, or you have musk, or you have uh, you know vanilla, uh, vanilla as a you know layer. So on those lines, this particular fragrance sits well. So if you don't have any of these fragrances, especially like I said. Uh, uh, Aqua Universal is Forte or uh, Latafa Sublime or even for example Calf then you can definitely consider getting this particular fragrance uh, because it fits that DNA. Now another reason why you should get this is apparently this is a very good alternative of Chanel's Allure Home Sport. Okay, so people who go by that particular fragrance, they think this is a clone of that. Now, I don't have the OG of that, so I don't really, uh, you know, I can't really compare. Now, Allure Home Sport has got citrus elements, it's got marine elements, it's got the spice elements. Of course, it's got also got, uh, you know, vanilla, it's got uh, musk, those elements, right? Now, if you compare that and to this particular fragrance, like I said, the marine notes is not something that you get on this at all. Okay, what you get is definitely the floral elements. So, even if you look at Allure Home Sport, it talks about being aromatic, citrusy, woody musky vanilla kind of a fragrance with a little bit of floral hints that is something that you will you know get in this particular dna as well so that is there right so of course is it a you know alternative of allure home sport i am not too sure i and i cannot really comment over it without checking the og but a lot of the internet folks say that this is one but what i can kind of get in terms of its scent profile is it's a citrusy white floral vanilla musky kind of a fragrance which also i think is allure home sport as well looking at the notes of that particular fragrance so maybe this is inspired from it or it is a clone to some extent okay either ways either ways if you're looking for a fragrance which you want to enjoy in summer which will give you a nice uh, you know good vibe good compliment getter and smells very nice on you smells very expensive very uh, you know rich and but at the same time smells very good and it's value for money you can definitely consider this because this should be in the ballpark figure about 1500 to 2000 rupees or probably lesser because i think i got the 95 ml partial for about 1000 1100 rupees so i'm guessing with the full presentation and with the 20 ml uh, you know decant that you get i think it should be about 1500 rupees or so for which i think this is an excellent value for money especially uh, if you're looking for a fragrance that is on the lines of chanel's uh, you know allure home sport right so is this a good buy to get for summer absolutely yes okay does it make sense to get a white floral fragrance for summers yes absolutely you will absolutely enjoy this particular fragrance that way so you can definitely get it right so that has been my review of ardal zafran's al dirgam which is a beautiful citrusy floral woody vanilla type of a fragrance that you can enjoy for summers uh, and probably a clone of allure home sport right so if you like the video hit the like button subscribe and share and see you on the next one until next time Take care. Bye now.